now for the arterial supply of the heart as you know heart is supplied with two coronary arteries right coronary artery and left coronary artery this is aorta i am reflecting the pulmonary trunk so that you can see the dilatation at the root of the ascending aorta which is called as aortic sinuses there is one anterior aortic sinus left posterior and right posterior aortic sinuses out of this the anterior aortic sinus will give rise to right coronary artery as you can see it is arising from anterior aortic sinus the left posterior aortic sinus give rise to left coronary artery the right posterior aortic sinus is called as non coronary sinus because it does not give rise to any coronary blood vessels now let us see about the right coronary artery the right coronary artery arises from the anterior aortic sinus runs between the pulmonary trunk and right auricle and reaches the sternocostal surface of the heart the first segment of the vessel runs on the sternocostal surface in the anterior part of the coronary sulcus between right atrium and right ventricle and reaches the inferior border of the heart to preserve to be precise exactly at the junction of right border and inferior border of the heart after reaching the inferior border it winds round the inferior border and reaches the posterior part of the coronary sulcus running between the diaphragmatic surface of the heart formed by the right ventricle and base of the heart formed by the right atria and come close to the crux of the heart here it gives posterior interventricular branch and finally terminates by anastomosing with the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery the branches of right coronary artery are it gives branches from the left side as well as on the right side in the first segment the left side branches are first is right coronary artery then right ventricular branches the largest right ventricular branch runs along the inferior border of the heart that is called as right marginal artery on its right side it gives branches to right atrium on one largest branch is the sa nodal artery which is given to the sa node so from its left side it gives right coronary artery left right ventricular branches and right marginal artery from its right side it gives sa nodal artery and right atrial branches this is from the first segment from the second segment it gives branches to the posterior surface of right atrium branches to the posterior surface of right ventricle and finally before termination gives posterior interventricular artery this posterior interventricular artery will supply av node in 60% of the individuals right bundle of his and posterior inferior one third of the interventricular septum the left coronary artery i have reflected the pulmonary trunk and you can see left posterior aortic sinus giving rise to left coronary artery after its origin it passes behind the pulmonary trunk and then between pulmonary trunk and auricle that is pulmonary trunk and left auricle and reaches the left surface of the heart here it divides into two terminal branches circumflex artery and anterior interventricular artery anterior interventricular artery and circumflex branch the anterior interventricular artery as the name suggests will run in the sternocostal surface of the heart in the anterior interventricular groove between the right ventricle and the left ventricle reaches the inferior border of the heart which it winds round and ends by anastomosing with the posterior interventricular artery given by the right coronary artery the anterior interventricular branch will give left coronary artery will give right ventricular and left ventricular branches and supplies anterior superior two third of the interventricular septum it also gives one big branch called diagonal branch which will supply the left surface of the left ventricle diagonal branch left coronary artery right ventricular and left ventricular branches and finally ends at incisor apices called as anastomosing with the posterior interventricular branch of right coronary artery now the circumflex branch of left coronary artery turns 
towards the left side winding round the left border of the heart this is the left border of the heart so this winds round the left border of the heart and reaches the posterior part of coronary sulcus between the base of the heart and the left ventricle here it gives left marginal artery along the left border of the heart which will also reach the incisor apices cordis where it anastomoses with the right marginal artery given by the right coronary artery so the circumflex branch as it is winding round running along the posterior part of coronary sulcus it gives branches to left ventricle and left atria and finally reaches the crux of the heart where it ends by anastomosing with the right coronary artery so the circumflex branch will give left marginal artery left ventricular and left atrial branches and finally ends by anastomosing with the right coronary artery